I'm Terry Copkins. I'm an occupational therapist and also a certified hand therapist at Ortho Montana. This video is a follow-up on the exercises that we presented at the 2016 Magic City Sports Medicine Conference. This exercise is a passive stretch to the wrist extensors for tennis elbow. With your elbow straight, let your wrist drop into flexion and with the other hand pull that into the flexion. And you're going to hold that 10 to 15 seconds and do 3 to 5 reps. So the progression of strengthening for tennis elbow is from isometric to eccentric to concentric strengthening. What I will demonstrate right here is isometric wrist extension. So what you do is lay your hand flat on the table, put the opposite hand over the affected arm, and you're going to press up, and you're going to hold that for a good five seconds, and then relax. You want to make sure that there's no pain with that, so it could be some maximal. This next exercise is the eccentric portion of the strengthening for tennis elbow. So what you want to do is stand on the band and get some tension. And you're going to help the affected arm up with the other hand, and you're going to hold it temporarily, and then you're just going to slowly lower it. So help it up with the other hand, and then lower it on its own. When you progress to the concentric strengthening, all you're going to do there is just a normal um, wrist curl. So you're just going to work up and down from flexion into extension. This next exercise is for the dorsal PIP joint dislocation. The exercise needs to be done in the splint. It's very important that you don't go into full extension as this could cause a recurrent dislocation. So what you do is you unwrap the coband down, leaving the PIP joint free, and then you can do full flexion and then extension to the splint. Full flexion and extension to the splint. Hello, my name is Duncan Boothby and I'm an occupational therapist that works at Ortho Montana. I'll be showing you DIP blocking exercises for boutonniere deformity, which looks like this, and for PIP volar dislocations. So, you'll be performing this exercise inside of the orthosis. You'll block the DIP joint and just flex. Extend, flex. Hello, I'll be showing you thumb exercises for gamekeeper's thumb following a mobilization. You begin with thumb flexion and extension. And then you progress into opposition, opposing the pad of the thumb to each digit, followed by palmar abduction and palmar adduction. 10 repetitions, three to five times a day. This is a side view of palmar abduction for the thumb. Hello, I'll be showing you exercises for entrapment of the ulnar nerve at the cubital tunnel. You open with having the arm out in front, wrist and digits flexed. You then go into wrist extension, followed by elbow flexion. The next sequence of the ulnar nerve glide is put the arm into abduction, flex the digits and wrist of the arm, external rotation of the shoulder, followed by lateral flexion of the neck. 